This is a video on how to create a specification flow task within DriveWorks Pro. The specification flow task provides the ability to customise the behaviour of specifications created by running a project. Multiple steps can be configured and the actions that are taken at each customised. Specification flow gives the user complete control over the specification process. It allows the creation of navigation buttons that appear on the user forms. Specification flow allows you to choose what will be created from a specification and exactly when it will happen. Furthermore, you decide which users or teams have permissions to perform actions on a chosen specification. Beyond simply customising the built-in specification flow, it's possible to completely replace it with a custom one of your own design to gain complete control over the specification process. The specification flow is a flow of the company's specification, which allows the whole of the company to be involved with the specification process, if desired. Each state is represented by a coloured box and can be set to have a different privilege and action, which will allow different parts of the company to view the specifications and approve it. With DriveWorks Pro open, and a group and a project already open, go down to the specification flow task within your DriveWorks Task Explorer. I have set up a specification flow as seen on the screen that has several different states within it. With states selected, you are able to rename, delete them, and align and equalize the spacing of them using the appropriate buttons on the command bar. The initial state is the running state, which opens up when you create a new specification. This and all the green states are in a running mode, which will allow access to specification forms to complete, remove or modify the specification. Once completed, they will pass to a pause state represented by a red box. This can be viewed in the Specification Explorer task, along with the ability to apply a new action, such as approval from a manager. The sales engineer can choose to reject it, which will put it back into the green state, or to approve it and move on to the next state, which in this case is for the drawing office to modify. Once the drawing office has modified it, it can either go into a save state and back around the loop again for modifications and approvals, or it can be sent for final approval. Within each state, it's possible to right click and decide whether the state is automatic, paused, running, and if it is the initial state, which determines where they are placed and what actions can be set in them, such as approval or rejections. In each state there are events, operations and transitions which can be edited by selecting the edit button from the state. In the transitions item it can be set so that they are moved to another state for approval from a sales manager for example. It is possible to set up a state to reject under the operation state items. More states can be added by clicking onto the Add States button located on the command bar. For more information, click on the Help button any time whilst using DriveWorks Pro, or visit the online help file which can be found at docs.driveworkspro.com.